Good morning. It's Wednesday, live with Dr. JJ from the Adam Care Prayer Corner, a reading from 1 Corinthians. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all die, but we will all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? There's something about mystery and victory and resurrection. It's not a private spiritual high that I can enjoy in the security of my own privileged way of life. It is coming to live, to die, and be transformed in the life of people in a boldly world that God indwells as the provider, redeemer. And every time we break bread and share the cup at the Lord's table or celebrate the baptism of an infant or adult, we participate in the pattern of life and death and transformation that prefigures God's gift of resurrection, life. The gracious God of Isaiah is the power of the resurrection. In 1 Corinthians 15, since this God through the ages has sustained the people named Israel and the church, despite persecution, oppression, and destruction, and temptation, Christians have reason to hope that we will come face to face with our Christ and with all God's creatures in a renewal of creation. A mystery is something beyond human comprehension, not just difficult to figure out, but impossible to understand. Mystery is not something that could be seen clearly with a little more light or better lens, but something so holy and awesome and inscrutable that we were to turn away every halogen lamp in the world and turn it in every conceivable way under the best optics available would remain ultimately unknowable. What is most mysterious to us about God? And God, you're holy and awesome. A miracle. Amen.